Hello and welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Man, I can't even argue with you about the name today because I'm so excited about the team competition between Team Fire and Team Water, which is currently separated by one single point. It is unbelievable Crazy. at the moment. Crazy. Yes, at, at 212 versus 211. Unbelievable. Ahead of Team Grass, which is at 168. And then Team Electric all the way at the bottom with 146. So Man. we are looking for Man. some wild types of shakeups today or some some definitive uh, like placement to be made in yeah. the team competition. Although there's still plenty of packs left to be open, but it should be an absolutely thrilling day. Roll that intro. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Boy, Jay, would you do the honors? This is really where I want to see a shake up there. Okay. Just not dark. Not Are you dark. Ready? Not dark. It Here won't be dark. It can't be dark. Because, because it's there's gonna, no way. It's going to be fire. It's, it's going to be fire. They want, the people want grass, I think. Yeah. That, there are so many Let's grass see. types. Dude, you called it! It is fire! That is unbelievable. Nice call, which goes nicely with one of today's randomly chosen common chase cards, which is going to be Turtonator alongside Iron Treads and Grubbin. I am going to switch the Flareon out because it feels like Umbreon has had its time in the limelight. In the limelight. It's just like, you know, get out of here, dude. Bring in Big Flare. Jay stepping on all the light switches back there because we just got cords strewn about the floor, which also took the open packs of cards. They don't go anywhere in between episodes, so they are just they are everywhere. Hold on, that cool, a little blurry. Hey! All right, Big Flare is in the house, and our first contestant of the day, Jesse Utile, is on the board. They have got one pack, one point so far, but I have to tell you, they're already kind of a rough spot because their one pack is worth 17. Oh, you're doing this first. Yeah, we're going first. We're going wow. first with, okay. the, with the, the, the backpack magic. Backpack magic. Here we go. All right, Jesse Utile has 17 cents on their one point, which already puts them out of contention for last place because, as we know... Uh, who has it? Um, Brooke, Brooke has two points on ten cents. Unbelievable, which is crazy! But if you want to be in contention for the last place, we need to see another one point point here. We do. So you still want? You're still looking for one point. We have Minchino, Rock Rock, the Litten will score, Shroomish, Sableye, Rescue Board, Ribombi, Ponyta, the Lichen Rock, and the Dunspar. So already that type advantage doing work, putting up three points for Jesse Utile. Maybe not what they wanted to see, but I suspect it'll be. This is good news for Brook that we have the fire energy because there is a lot more fire Pokemon than dark Pokemon. I know, this is gonna be good for Brook and I was actually researching today's lineup and we have quite a few contenders in the, in this week's opening that only have one point coming into the day. Oh so boy. it could be very interesting. Time to dodge and weave if you are Brook. Next up we have got Lauren, this is classic Lauren. Classic Lauren, not Lauren. to be confused with another Lauren. Or Lauren B. from The Bachelor. Or not Lauren. Yeah, but Lauren Classic here has three points. All right, let's see. We got the Metal Energy there. We got the Pineco, the Mawile, the Metatite. The Terminator will score twice. Two points. The Ferretris, the Full Metal Lab, the Golurk, the Iron Hands will not score. The Cutie Fly will not score. And the Fluttermane Flutter will. So three, three points. Three points for Lauren Classic. Going to put her at six on the season. And there we go. So both packs so far, both worth... Uh, three points, both utilizing that fire type right. advantage. Already coming into play quite a bit. We've seen packs too that have had upwards of like five fire cards in them, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll All see. Right. Next up we have uh, Kingdom Cam. Kingdom Cam, here who's coming go. into the day with three points. All right, here we go. So uh, this says, is is a pastor. I thought their fun fact was, is a poster. It's a like, poster. You know what? You, you see, you know when you buy posters, that's me. 
I'm a poster. Like when you buy like a like a frame and it's got someone already in it as like the example picture, I'm that guy. Oh, could you imagine? That'd be funny. That would be like, That's cool. me. That's I'm me. the frame I'm guy. I'm the frame guy. Yeah. All right, Slugma, gonna score. Slosis, Stiddy, Electabuzz, Fortress, Full Metal Lab, Golurk, Tranquil, Carvana, and Faragariff. Faragariff. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Number 108 on the set. Well, we didn't pull that in a while. It's been a second, although it's worth next to nothing. 39 cents. We'll mm. round up to one point, so two points on the pack. Just Five as points as on the, the season. There we go. There Shows we go. Land. All right. Hang on one second. Whoa. Crap. At least it was oh, early. I know. You know, I'm gonna take my phone out of my pocket so I don't get distracted. <laughs> Just punch the punch cards. Punch the cards. <laughs> All right, next up we have Jazzy J. Truther in the house. Was it uh, you? Are you up? Uh, you know, it feels like for Jazzy J. Truther, maybe it should be, even if it, you know, even if it mixes it up. Go for it. You Go know? for it. You know what? I don't, I don't want any part of it. Again, they are at one point and twenty-five cents. So they want that last place where they're really gonna have to rely on Brooke really whipping on the next pack and getting a one-point pack here. Let's see, we have the water energy, knockdown, crocodile, licky licky, matang, explorer, latias, ancient booster capsule. Oh that's gonna be worth some points. And it's fire, so it's just one little boosty boost. And the alligator on top of it. Jay will censor for you, man. That gouging fire seems like it should have some looks some juicy. Fun. Number two zero four. Boy, it's a real bummer we don't have any sort of multiplier happening on this pack. Jay. Yeah. Big? Fifty dollars thirty-nine cents. Rounds up to fifty-one, fifty-two, 52. fifty-three points. Oh, 53, right, because of the extra four there. 53. And Ben, that is probably really good news for Team Grass. Honestly, that's got to be one of their top five scorers, I have to imagine. Has to be. Right, which probably brings them closer into contention because it's pretty close at the top there. Goodness wow. Look at this Galvin Fire, though. That is an insane pull. Wow. I mean, truly beautiful. I love it. That's even playable. I mean, if you if you want to take that out of the case. But uh, that's up to you. You know, I've seen people do it. I've done it. Damn. Got to have that bling deck. Got to have that bling out deck, you guys. And Jazzy J. Truther... Ben wanted nothing to do with it. I got your back. But but also remember, it came from my side, and I very nearly opened it for you. So very nearly. If anybody wants to be a Buzzy B Truther. <laughs> Buzzy B Bruther. <laughs> Buzzy B Bruther. <laughs> All right, next up we have Heather Lynn, who again, one point. You're right, there's a lot of one pointers in this I know. in this crop. Yes, indeed. So this is this is normally coming from Jay's side of the deck. So you okay. can you can apply whatever victory or utter failure, more likely, uh, to him and not me. Well, or we'll just see. Maybe it's going to be the mail battle. Maybe it's a two cent pack, man. There we go. Which right, should be so. good, but it's still put them at thirty nine cents. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So we got the got the lightning bolt energy, the knockout, the crocodile, the licky licky, the matang, the ancient booster energy capsule, the iron treads, the bloody yeah. buddy paw fin. That's pretty solid. The giraffe rig will not score. The rab rabska will Rab's not go. score. And the scissor, scissor will. Hey, wow. There you go. All right, so number 111 on the set. Shabs. I don't think it's worth a lot. It's just 68 cents. It's just so, a single point. So, so one, five out yeah. of there. Not too bad. Not too bad. So, you know, while, while my side of the box could have produced a 53-point pack, Jay's side of the box did still do something. Yeah, but look at that. Look how look how the scissor came to the J side, you know? It, it is, like, it yeah. is true. Yeah, it's like they like they migrate, kind of like magnetized. They know, they know. All right, next up we have got Aaron and Tony. Power oh. couple in the game. The audio has not been on. Oh no, we are just clutching it up. Hey, we probably sound better now. The audio has been improved. Wow, sorry about that, you guys. We just noticed the microphone wasn't on, but at least we noticed it now. At least we noticed it now. For Aaron, yeah. For so Aaron and Tony. Aaron and Tony, they're like, wow, they're thank, like, thank you, thank you. Now it doesn't sound so tinny. Doesn't sound so tinny in there, you know? This room is full of bricks, we're sorry. All right, here we go. Bam, we have the water energy. Bramblin, Giraffe Rig, Roselia, Cutie Fly, Shaman. Too bad. See what you want the grass? I know, yeah. The Vikavolt, the Totodile, the Frost Moth, and the Whimsicott. Ugh. So just one point. Just one point there for few, Aaron and few Tony. Few people today would have loved that one pointer. But these um, guys, they're, they're not one of our one point contenders. They came in with three. Man. That man, oh rough. man, Ace. All right, here we go with Lauren B. from The Bachelor. Lauren B. We got our, our second Lauren on the day after classic That's Lauren. Classic Lauren. Let's see. What can Lauren B. throw down? Let's see. Typically a pretty good contender. Ooh, dark here. Would have been good last week. Would have been, but the Pony Ponyta will good. score. The Chita, the Katani, Katani, the Carvana, the Sandy Shocks, the Re I can never get this one. 
Reuniclus. Re Reuniclus. The Miss Energy will no score. score. The Rock Rough will not. The Pie Dove will not. And the Roaring Moon will. So one, two, three, four. Four points going to bring Lauren B up to 10 on the season. There we go. Not two shabs. Not two yeah. shabs. Not two shabs. There we go. Stay in it. You know, I mean, nothing like double digits. Exactly. Exactly. A lot of people aren't even there yet. All right, next up we've got John Borg. John Borg. John with Borg. Five points coming in today for Team Grass. All right. Team Grass desperately looking to contribute to what Jazzy J Truther was able to pull out earlier. Know. 53. That's our best pack in like three boxes. Wait, is that the best pack? No, we had, we've had some huge. It's, it's been a minute. It's, it's been, been a minute. minute. Yeah. Great, great pack. Here we go. Grass energy on the table. Carcoal, Grottle, Finizen, Bronzor, Zeraora, Sharpedo, Metagross, Shroomish, Roserade, and the Feraligator. Oh, all the all the people who wanted the one point are missing it, and all the people who would like anything else are getting it. I know, it's just the way sometimes the cards go down. You know, I, I know that we're harping on this for a little bit there for Jazzy to Truther, but I also think this most likely puts them in contention for Big Steve. Oh, does it? 53, I was just looking at it and I was thinking in the back of my mind. Yeah, so yeah, currently in Big Steve position with Big Man. Steve at 49. So, that is a highly, for Big Steve to have so many points, mm. that's a highly competitive it is position to because be Because it's like, normally Big Steve kind of falls right at like the top of the bell curve, so it gets very crowded right around him. It does, yeah, like that 14, 15, 16 point range, yeah. but at, at 49, it's like how many people are gonna get above 49? I know, right? Like, like if you if you have even like a, a 10 point lead on that, it's like you gotta be pretty sneaky to get work in there. I gotta say though, I'm excited about this next player. Oh, it's they, Goddess they Princess. Always, they always throw down. Goddess Princess has held every single position the game has to offer. They're, so They're fun to watch. Without fail, always something interesting. Two points coming into the day. So, I mean, you'd really have to see a stab at quality eighth place for that trend to continue. But we'll we'll find out here in just a minute. We've got the Carcoal, the Griotl, the Finizen, the Bronzor, the Iron Treads will score, the Buddy Buddy Poffin will score, the Lycan Rock will not, Ghastly will not, the Macargo will points. twice, and the Drampa. This, I mean, it, it's classic Goddess Princess, though. Getting doubling up on type advantage, getting the random <laughs> I know, just three scoring. point card and hitting a common chase card. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, seven I'm out of call nothing. Seven out of nothing. Out of nothing. That's impressive for Goddess Princess for a, it's a, to really, the nine points doesn't look impressive, but it tells a story. It does tell a story. You know? It does indeed. So we'll continue to keep an eye on Goddess Princess as we always do. As we always do. All right, next up is Faith. Gotta have it. You gotta have it, you know, especially, especially, yeah, especially in this game. I was gonna, gonna say, say, especially in this game. Especially in this game. Due to because the sheer random luck nature of it. There you go. The best thing you can do is just play for a long time and increase your odds. Dark, man, a lot of dark ones today. Yeah, would have come in handy last week. Would have. Drillbur, the Ponyta, Ponyta. the Chathot, Great Tusk, Salvatore, Bronzong. I feel like this has come up a bunch. But the Dunsparce, Dunsparce does, score. does score. The Mawile will not, and Maridon. So, so a three-point pack back-to-back -back for Faith. That's six on the season for them. Probably not added too much to Team Grass's total, but cheering for... Jazzy J Truther on that's, the side. That's line. right, that's right. Bring us back in contention, they say. All right, next up is Beck Squad. Beck Squad. Here we go, rival of Becky Borscht. Let's see that, what are they coming in with? Three points, a lot of three pointers in these past few oh, packs. Oh, we got the Fireball oh, Energy first right time there. today. We got the Ekans, the Turtwig, the Poochiena, the Wiglet, the Saucebuck, the Cypher Maniacs, the, I can't ever say it, the Bronzong will not score, the Cottony will not score, and the, the Iron, Iron Boulder. Boulder. Man, so really just holding out till the end there for any Man, scoring points. Man, can we get, can it be worth more than a dollar? It can't, 51 uh, cents, so just two, two points. Two points and a Unfortunately for Deck Squad, you get the full art card. Man. And look at that, it's like one of the first packs without fire in I it know, too. That's unfortunate. Just a moment where you want it to be adding up and unfortunately it doesn't. It doesn't get there. All right, then we have our first rookie of the day, which actually today is just a two person competition. So, so it's, it's, it's basically Steven N or the next person. The other one, but, yes. today, but up to up to up to bat now is Steven N. Pokemon Yellow was their first game, bought with his own money on the Game Boy Color. Oh man, honestly, I think there's a check. I, I also had Pokemon Yellow for you the did. Game Boy, and yeah. I don't know that I purchased any games myself prior to that one. Mm, I know that it was our grandparents' um, 40th wedding anniversary, and they gave all of the grandkids 40 bucks. Which and on like the drive home, I, we stopped at a Walmart, and I bought Pokemon Blue because our cousins, Michael and Lenny, already had it at that exact family gathering, and I was like, this is the best thing I've ever played. And now I'm opening Pokemon cards. Uh, 
for a living on the internet. So thank you, Grandma and Grandpa, for having such a successful marriage. I know, seriously, we couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, all right. Anyway, here we go. Oh, oh. fireball energy for Steven N. That's, that's okay. a good omen. That's a good omen. Let's see, Mighty Anna, Duosian, Haunter, the Pikachu. They're, oh, Ben, I see an ace spec peeking okay. out. Okay, okay, okay. The Keldeo and the, the Prime, Prime Catcher, Catcher on oh. the multiple. Oh, ben, 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 Ben. It's a double. <gasps> it's a critical hit on the Prime Catcher. Oh my God, is that a four X? It is a four X on the Prime. Oh that my is amazing. Gosh, this could be yeah, huge. This Number 157. Steven N wants to go to the Olive Garden. If they don't, this is going to be one of the best boxes ever because we're off to a flaming oh start my gosh. here. The Prime Catcher comes in at 3105. So wow. 32. 32 going to be 33. 33 times 4. four. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's 132. 100, 132 points. That's a new leader. Oh my what? gosh. 132 points X on Prime Catcher. Wow, that will go down in the history. That is a huge pull. Look at that. What and the, the rookie of the day. God, part of me hopes you don't win rookie of the day because it just means that the next one was insane. It just but been. wow, four times multiplier oh on my the gosh. prime catcher. And it's for Team Electric who needed it desperately. Oh, were they in last place? Team Electric was in last place coming into the day, but they are, I believe, we've only ever had Team Grass and Team Electric win the team competition. I mean, granted, Oh man, okay, so Team okay. Grass and Electric have both taken huge swings. Man, at at, you're ball. right. Okay, wait, so go back to the, go to the overall leaderboard. Who was the, who was the fifth place Electric person? Okay, let's see here, yeah, let's so we can, we can do this. One, so, two, three, four. It was Chrysara with 14 points. points. So we're going to be adding 118. to 118 points. Which will put them in first. That puts them in first, because they're going to be at yeah, 246 so. Plus eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. they're in front by a mile now. Holy goodness! Whoa. Wow. But the one thing to keep in mind is that, and I know this because I researched it before coming into today's episode. Our former leader, Rozzy the King, with 110 points for Team Fire, has only opened one pack That's and is true. not in today's episode. So mm. we won't know what they pull until next, next week. week. But yeah. So wow. they, they still have a way to claw their way back in. They're only 22 points down. It's not impossible oh, by any means, goodness. especially because Steven N will only end up with two packs on the season. But what what a pickup mid-season by Team Electric. That's just good drafting. That is you know? good drafting. That's very wow. impressive. Very wow. impressive. There we go. All right. Well, this has been a, quite a box already. So next up, we have Haley and Collins. Okay. Oh my goodness. Who are, were, were these were this last season champs? Maybe? Yes, they were. Yeah, indeed. they were yeah, with 51, 51 points. Bravo. All right, let's see here. So we got the Lightning Bolt Energy from Team Electric there, the Mighty Yenna, the Duosian, the Haunter, the Pikachu, the Del Caddy, the Future Booster, the Iron Hands. Man, if this had been an Electric, I know. it would have been pretty decent. The Relor will not score, the Arbok will not score, the, the Whimsicott, Whimsicott. Wow. just one point. Boy, one pack off from that four times prime catcher. I can't believe how that worked out. That this was game is unbelievable. Insane. I know. Unbelievable. I, it was like, I saw the, I saw like a pink and I was like, could it be? It is, oh no. Oh. Oh my gosh. No. Oh man, what a good one. All right, and then rookie of the day. Rookie, rookie pull. All right, Radiant Shadow here coming in with two points. This is just their third pack ever. So their first three pack season they're working on. Let's see, what do they got? Raucous Pummeling, the Cottony, Carvana, Ekans, Turtwig, Excadrill, Screamtail, Zara, Aura. Oh, critical hit on the Ekans. Okay. So something, Hoot Hoot, and the Bramble Gas though. So just gonna be a two point pack. See, it's like, you know, it's unbelievable. The number of times we've seen it just go from one point to two points with the multipliers I versus know. the time you see 33 I, points. I know, it's like last episode we had, I think eight critical hits and like nothing was massive. And today we double down and get a four on a huge card. It's unbelievable. Just like, I don't know how the odds work in this game, but it, <laughs> it's always exciting. All right, next up is Berkeley Comstock. Okay, Berkeley. We like the college. They got four points coming in. All right. Let's or see. Team Electric. We got the Metal Energy yep. there. We got the Meltan, the Sea Dot, the Totodile, the Deerling, the Ancient Booster, the Rapid Ash will score, the Bolton, the Electabuzz will not score. Oh, oh the, the Chinchino! Love it. Love that card. And, and the, the Mel Metal rears its ugly head it for does. the first time today. Let's see. Chinchino. 183. So that's a 14, $13.77. So it rounds up to 14. Okay. 
15, 15 16. 16. 16 point pack. Pretty solid for Berkeley for 20 points. Man, so I'm pretty sure that that would have put, um, going back to Krasara from before, if not for uh, Stephen N's play, Berkeley would have been contributing to Team Electric's overall score with those 20 mm. points. But instead they're um, not. But instead they're not, not at yeah. the moment at least. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, big shout out to our next player though, it Mark Mark. Mark Mark, they always hit the Mark Mark and that has been extremely true this month. If you've not been following along at Super Carlin Brothers, you may have noticed I've got a bit of a mustache going on my face. That is part of a fundraiser we are doing for sarcoidosis research. There's a link in the description if you want to contribute, but the way it's working is that I will grow this mustache for one minute for every new follower I get on Instagram, every email sign up we get at supercarlinbrothers.com and every dollar donated to the fundraiser and Mark Mark contributed $1,000 earlier this month. So just like shout out to Mark Mark. Yes. Yeah. Like, Thank you yeah. so much for your contribution. Just incredibly generous. You know, I so. really, let's, let's see. Let's hope this is a good pack for you. All right. I want to give you somebody coming in with seven points on the day. Here we go. Can we hit the Mark Mark for Mark Mark? Bam. We've got metal energy. Okay. We've got ghastly Elgin, Sizzlepeed. Meryl, Delmize, Electivire, Chinchino, Morty's Conviction, Perilous Jungle, and, and the Gengar. Gengar. That's okay. not nothing. That's All not right. nothing. Let's see what number 104. 104 for the Gengar. On the set. If I can get to the right page here. One dollar twenty-two for the Gengar. So just right. three <laughs> points on the pack brings them up to ten on the season. Mark, Mark hitting the Mark, Mark. Though. Mark, Mark hitting the Mark, Mark. And despite the numbers in this game, a true champion of in the, the SCB community this month in particular. All right. Next up is Lando Mando. Lando Mando. Bam. Who is? Oh man. Now Lando Mando might be giving Brooke a run for her money. They have got one point and eight cents. So okay. should this be the Mel Metal Pack? We will have a tie for last place. The most unbelievable of ties yeah. too. So we got the Salad Energy, the Ghastly. No. Nope. Oh, the Sizzle Pete will do it. The Ruins Meryl, it. The Heavy Baton. The, the Mist, Mist Energy. energy. No. Nope. The Ferretris. The Iron Tread. Oh, scores will also as well. Score and the Flutterman. So wow. one, two, three, four, five Boy. points. There we go. So and Lando Mando just says, I don't want last place. I no. want something else. And Brooke breathes a sigh of relief, dodges another one. There, there we, we go. go. Lando well Mando. She's got a very commanding last place lead. Next up, we've got Xander. Xander for Team Fire. For team Fire, who <laughs> suddenly finds themselves in need of points. They do, unbelievably so. In a way yes. that I always just like, there's no way I know, Fire I can go down. I thought they had it. I thought they had it. Oh, you never Steven know. N is just sitting there giggling. He cannot rub like, their hands together. You know, like, he, he, you know. This is what people, because when people sign up, they're like, ah, maybe, maybe I'll get lucky. Like, probably not, but it'll be fun to watch. And right. like, you think in the back of your head, like, maybe I'll be the one who just like has a crazy first pack. And like most people, it doesn't happen for. Steven N did it. Yeah. He's just like, wow. I'm I'm crushing it. So not only are you rookie of the day, but you're presently leading the whole competition. Yeah, pretty remarkable. So, bravo. Pucciano, Wiglet, Arbok, See that Iron Valiant, Sharpedo, Metagross, Knockdown, Dunsparce, and no. Oh. oh my God. Then it was one pack off for you Lando Mando. No. You cannot script this. Gosh. Show. Oh, but you know what? Xander only had one point either. Okay. So they're coming in now. Is it two cents? Is that right? Two, oh, let me double check. I just yeah. want to be sure that I have that right because it does seem so uh, amazingly low. So number 117 on the set, two cents two from Mel Metal. Okay, so they are now with their two packs, they're at 16 cents on the season. So only six cents behind Brooke. Okay, and the thing is, is that pulling a one point pack, especially with that possibility of like salad energy yeah. being the type advantage for the day, it's yeah. like getting one point for the third time is gonna be such a massive challenge for yes. everybody in this position. So it's not the worst place you can be. No, it's not. That's that's pretty good. They are in there, because all they need is for Brooke to get one slip point. That's exactly And then it. they're there. Yeah, so one type advantage. Very possible. We see it happen multiple times a day. All right, next up we have our former rookie of the day from, uh, uh, last month, okay, this look, is... Re read off that winning Rookie of the Day number. Four. 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 Remember what in it was some, today? In some ways, it's impressive. They got Rookie of the Day with just four. Not like Steven N, who's going home with 150 points or can whatever, you, 130 you, points. Can you guys tell that we're just like mind blown by that? I can't like, believe I that mean, was an just, insane pack. Just unbelievable. We've we still done have this a, a lot. <laughs> that rarely a, happens. We still have a rookie left. We do. Right? Yeah. All right, so we got the, the you called it Pidov? 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 Pidov. Pidov. Yeah. I think I've been saying Pidov. I'm pretty sure earlier you said something else. Pidov? 
bit of. Pine Cove. I don't know. Pine Cove, Mawile, Meditite, Mudsdale, Explorer's Guidance, Colossal, the Wiglet will not score, the Skitty will not score, and the Bramble Gas. Wow. Just one point. A single point for Miss Nadine. Miss Nadine, who I don't even know if we had announced yet. Unfortunately, nope. Miss Nadine, hope you're having just a, a truly great day. Bam. Yep. Hope you do. Hope you are. There we go. Our, ooh, yeah. All right. Next up is Bri no, not Bri Live. Christina. Christina. All right. Ooh. Okay, though. Actually, Christina in an interesting position has six cents. Six cents. Okay. Wow. So this is another one where the Mel Metal could absolutely do it. It could. There is that striking distance, and this is the first time we've ever had a rare card be worth less than five cents. Yeah. So the Mel Metal is the lowest value rare card that that Box Breakers has ever seen. Right. All right. We have Grass Energy, so that's what they want. Golet, Dunspar, Snom, Mudbray, looking pretty good. The Great Tusk, the Del Caddy, the Raichu. Oh no. Oh, the Great Tusk. No, wait. No, it's a different Great oh, Tusk. No way. Wow, okay, Big Dodge okay. and Fluttermane. Flutter All right, what is the value on the Fluttermane right, here? Let's check it, let's check it. Because it is a one point pack. We have another contender. 41 cents. Ooh. It's a little competitive. It's a little high. It's a little competitive. Yeah, but Bam. you're there. You're at a 47 cents. There are a few people in front of you. But don't lose hope because there's always that possibility. Right. You know, this, is, this is still the path you had to take. Yes, yes indeed. You know? All right, next up we've got Bry Liv, Arch Nemesis of Dylan Clark. They are coming into the day with just two points. So clearly they're gunning for first place. Yeah, yeah. Is what we're thinking for Bryla. They they say we're all or nothing. We're all in. They go, they bet on, they so bet like, on. What do we need? 130. One points, easy. Easy, easy. Yeah. I do that in my sleep. I got the Golette, the Dunsparce, the Snom, the Mudbray, the, the, the Rapidash, Rapidash the Bolton, the Iron Valiant will not score, the Pikachu will not score, and the Iron Valiant oh, will critical hit. give us a critical hit. No, wait, no, they're actually different Iron Valiant. Oh, you're right. Oh never my gosh. mind. Okay, never mind. Not the critical hit. It wouldn't have made a huge difference either which no. way. So just two points on <laughs> yeah. the pack there. I was like, wait a second, how is this possible that one's yeah. rare and one's not? Um, because they're different. Yeah, that's how. Man, so weird how many uh, how many Iron Valiant cards already exist in the game. Yes, yes. But just in case you guys are ever wondering, because I know occasionally like the cards aren't exactly the same. Sometimes there are illustrator versions of cards where they feature the same attacks and are, yeah. are functionally the same card, even if they visibly look different. Right. We count those for critical hits. We do. Yes. We do. Now, Ben. Now, this could be interesting too. What is the what is the highest value card? The Iron Crown. Let's see. Valued at here. Iron Crown. 96. 96. Okay. 96. Oh man. So even getting that. <laughs> so even pulling the chase card will okay, not yeah. currently put you in first place. Yeah. So we are in an interesting position because, yeah, the most valuable card, single card, is 96 points. And it's it's 96 even. 96 which is also even. Kind of crazy. Terrible so no rounding. rounding. Yeah. No rounding. So if you so, get it, it's just 96. So, like, for a lot of people, but that's where it's like 96 plus like that, even plus like 20 is not going to get you there. You're going to have to, it's going to be a hard pull. It's going to be a hard pull. But it's if you get like a multiplier, then you're still safe. Right. Probably. Right. All right, next up we've got Conrad uh, coming into their second pack ever. So their rookie debut. They only got two points. Let's see if we can improve upon that. All right, we've got the Water Energy, Totodot, Deerling, Pie Dove, Pine Co., Roserade, Keldeo, Iron Jugulus, the Gola, Ooh, Ooh, the Shift Tree, awesome oh, that's a artwork. Sweet looking card. And the D Dunsparce. So that is such cool artwork. That is. It's kind of like it's kind of like like aggressive looking. It's very aggressive. It's got those little C dots down there. That's cool. Is there a Nuzleaf in this image as well? Let's see, so 163. Man, as cool as it is, only two dollars forty two cents. So uh, round up to three four. Three. That is right? no, yeah, four yeah. four points on the pack there for Conrad. But either way, I mean that's a that's a cool card to pull. So it it's is. like you know if you bought a card off people on the internet that mail it to you, it's right. like that's not worst case scenario. Like if I just bought this and I opened this, I'd be like awesome. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So there you go. All right, next up we have Sierra Cawthorn. So possibly from our our childhood soccer team. <laughs> that's right. Now, gosh, Sierra is just like you can tell she's she's steaming a little in this episode because Sierra herself hit a four times multiplier on her first pack this season, but only walked away with eight, eight points, points. Oh, which is hard man. to do. Yeah, versus uh, the four times multiplier again for from 132. today. We do have the Terminator, which is worth yeah. two, so there's that. So we got the Hoot Hoot. I think I see something picking out back there oh, as well. Oh boy, okay, Bellum. the Heat the Marble score. score. The Perilous Jungle, the Omphazant, the Eerie, uh -oh. the, oh, the Hero's Cave. Cave. Yeah. There we go, look at that. That'll score points. The Cutie Fly will not, and the Karaidon will. So let's check out that Hero's Cave. Boy. 152, I can't That is remember. crazy that 
that Jazzy J Truther got a four times multiplier on an ace spec, and our other four times multiplier player this season also got an ace spec, just not on the multiplier. You're right. So the, the hero scape is, is a little mid tier for the ace specs, but not terrible. $10.37, so 11. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 points. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. That's gonna, more than her four times multiplier pack. Right, yeah. So it's gonna bring Sierra Cawthorn up to 23 points on the season, Boy. which is a neat little nudge coming up to our next pack, which is gonna be big. Jake, who's coming into the day with 22. Oh my gosh. So, so look at this. So a little, little bit of like, a little, little bit of feuding little going jostling on there. here. Yeah, 22 points for Big Jake. Is it me? It's you. Yep, it's go me. Ahead. All yep. right, here we go, Big Jake. Photographer and does AV work for his church. This is, every time I see Big Jake, I think it's our friend Jake the Viking, who's also a huge person named Jake. Yes, yes, and just, he, a, just, a, just a large, massive. And he just finished doing a, uh, doing like AV work and photography work for uh, Breaking Benjamin on tour. So I'm I was like, is this? It could it be? Is it? He also is collects it? Pokemon cards. And he collects cards. Pokemon cards, but yeah. it's a it's just a different big Jake. I bet you guys would be friends. Probably so. Probably, Probably so. so. A lot in common. All right. Dark Teardrop, Mingino, Rockruff, Litten will score, Shroomish, Explorer, Iron Hands, Morty, Turtonator, Double Points, Lick Tongue, Iron Valiant. Four point pack? Four point pack. There we go. So there we go. So there yeah, you. Big Jake's looking over at Sierra Cawthorn and being like, hold my beer. Hold my beer. Or more, more like whiskey, if I know, if I know. Jake the Viking, anyway. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Peanut butter flavored, even. As, as long as we're recall. assuming this big, big Jake is our friend, Big Jake. <laughs> well, just assume. You're a Viking, right, Big Jake? Almost certainly. Almost certainly. All right, next up is uh, Anthony, brother of ch former champion Chase, son of a doe. Right. This family brings some heat to the table. They do indeed. But do they have enough to take down Jazzy J. Truther? All right, so we got. Or um, Stephen N. I'm sorry, what was I talking about? Oh, I know. Yeah, it was yeah, Jazzy A. Truther did that 53 They did. Today, sorry, so. I'm sorry. You're just, you're just, you're, wow. you're in a little bit of a big head. I'm like, yeah, a little bit, you know. We got the Minchino, the Rockruff, the Litten will score, the Shroomus, the Mudsdale, the Cypher Maniacs, the Sawsbuck, the Deerling, the Lycanroc will not score, but oh, the Torterra, Torterra will. That looks like first page. Uh, it does. It's 12. First page EX if I've ever. 40 cents for that one. So 40 two cents. points. Gosh, unfortunate. But still. Always nice to get a little ultra rare action there. That's exactly right. So we'll, right. we'll get these headed you your go. direction. Poor Thank Anthony. you so much, Anthony. Add it to the family collection. Next up is Akron Guy coming in at three points on the season. Created a Pokemon fan website in 1999, which led to an interest in coding and a career in IT. It's That's amazing. Unbelievable. How uh, people's interest in Pokemon as a kids leads to their future careers. That's exactly know? right. Exactly, yeah, yeah. right? We get it. We get it. We've been there. We yeah. did it. Turtonator, Hoot Hoot, Delmize, Electivire, Chinchino, Snom, Charcoal. Oh, the Morty's Conviction! There we go. That seems like it's got to have yeah, something going it sure for does. it. Boy, that's um, cool. Although not as much as you would think. $2.54, wow. so three, four, five, five points. Five okay. Five point pack there for Akron Guy. All right. There we go. We'll throw that here in the box for you. Get it in the mail. Next up is Opal Tano, obvious um, apprentice, of, apprentice of Ahsoka Tano. Almost certainly yeah, coming definitely. in today. Forty-one cents. Forty-one on there. cents. So uh, another one point pack contender. So possibly looking for just a singular point here. Yeah, we'll but they would, they would still have some work to do, but we'll see. They would. So we got the Roly Coley, the Azumarill, the Yamper, the Grubbin, Grubbin will wow. score, the first Center Grubbin? Scorch will score, the Buddy Buddy Poffin, the Iron Treads. Treads. What is going on? Oh, yeah. The Sharpedo will not score, the Charger Bug will not score, and the Dunsparce will. Well, so geez. one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. Seven out of nothing. So not last place, and just a fun pack all around. Yeah, taking taking a note out of uh, Goddess Princess's I playbook know, right? there, and really just throwing down every which way you possibly can. Right. Very impressive, well did. All right, well Ben, next up is our other Rookie of the Day contender, but you gotta, you gotta feel like maybe they don't feel great, despite their name being Maximus Lovegood. Yeah. So we'll see how maximally uh, lovey-goody they feel after what I assume is about to be a horrible beatdown for Rookie of the Day, but I don't know. Otherwise, they're about to have the best day of their life. Yes, yes indeed. I know, this could be very interesting. Just as a recap, because I got all of our scores from our rookies so far this season. We've got a two, a one, a two, a four, a two, two, four, six, a seven, a two, five, three, and then there was 13. 18, 132. So we've we been on an upward trajectory upper here. Upward trajectory. So <laughs> well, let's see. Nothing would make me happy. I'm sorry, Stephen N., but nothing would make me happier right now than if you lost your spot. It would be a hilarious as well because this uh, Maximus is also from Team Electric. Oh my gosh. So if it happened, 
Rockets Bum Link. So okay. you don't have that going for you. Okay. Doesn't mean you can't still get there, but right. let's see. We have Lickadunk, Slug Mascora, Silosis, Scyther, Scythe we'll Sonnet, Shiftry, Bianca, Iron, Jugulus, Azumarill, Azera, Aura, and the Relicant. So yeah, just two points, I'm just, afraid. Just just two points. Jay will uh, sign that Scyther I will sign your Scyther, you. though. So there you go. So a little bit of a consolation prize for coming mm -hmm. in. Just 130 points shy of our goal. Yeah. There we go. All right, you're welcome. There we go. Sorry, you're not heading to the Olive Garden. Disfortunately, or... but... <laughs> there we go. All right, next up we've got Collard Cow 41. Collard Cow! Coming in with three points themselves on the season. All right, let's see Collard Cow. I'm trying to remember. I feel like they've been in contention for something because his I, name always stands out does. to me. Possible oh, last place. I think place. maybe they were a last placer because they had three. They they pulled off the th the three single points for just forty three cents back in season six. Okay. I okay. don't know if they actually won it, but they were clearly Ooh, close. Okay. So we got the fireball Multiplier. energy. Multiplier. Okay. So Let's we got see that. it. The look the nice. slug mobile score. The solosis. The, the scyther will get signed. The perilous jungle. The umphazon. The scent of scorch. The meditite will not score. The iron valiant will, will score. score. Oh, the gouging fire. fire! Fire! So don't forget to add one. One extra here. Yes, yeah, so 180. Big fire okay, pack. Let's see. Big Won't be as big pack. as the other gouging fire. No, not quite. So four dollars sixty-one cents. No. So five, six. Five, six, seven, eight, nine times two is an eighteen-point 18. pack, though. Wow, eighteen. Very solid. Going to bring you up to twenty-one on the season, and you get this awesome gouging fire coming your way. Yeah, that's. I, I'm going to call that just a did you sound the scythe for them. Oh my goodness, this gracious. is this has been such a good box. It has been a good box. This has been yes. really entertaining. Lots of fun stuff. Right. There you go. Boom. Ba Boom. All right. Wow. Well, well done to Collard Cow. Always a fun player. There we go. Ma Maximus, unfortunately, missed out on that 18-point pack, which I shy know. of our one outlier would have been a fascinating 18-point back-to-back rookies for us <laughs> compared to last week. But Can you imagine being Rookie of the Day and losing with an 18-point pack? No, oh, it's unbelievable. Suck. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Taylor Still, next on the chopping block here, their fourth pack ever. They put up a couple of four points and an eight point pack, so okay, not, okay, nothing, you know, but not not too bad. So they're, they're saying like twelve at least multipliers Let's of see four. It. All right, so we got the the Medicham, the Tranquil, the Mister Mind, the Raichu, the Box Door, the Robombi, the Future Booster Energy Capsule, the Bramblin will not score, the Heat More will. will score, and the Iron Thorns mm. just two, just the two point pack there for you. So uh, sadly, their worst pack to date. Unfortunately, unfortunately. that's okay. Better luck next time, and thank you as always for your patronage. See ya. All right, next up we've got Stefan and Susie. Stefan and Susie. Here we go, coming in again with two points. This 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 crop of players came in with a lot of really low scores, but hasn't been putting up big numbers. They have been. It's been a very, very solid and competitive day. Yeah. Here we go. Ba-bam. Shoop, shoop. Oh, oh here we go. Fireball energy. Okay, so we got the multiplier. Again. All right, we have Beldum, Berlin, Roly Cole, Heat, Heat More. more. Sableye, Great Tusk, Morty's Conviction, the Nuzleaf, the Litten, and the Maridon. Okay. I want to say that Maridon's just a single single point. I believe you're right. 62 cents will round up to one. So, so one, two, three times two is six. Six point pack there for you. Maridon coming your way. Could we have anything huge left in the tank? I know, in it's, the a box. Good, it's a good question. We're, we're kind of getting down to like that last pack magic potential. Right. We're down to, next up is John Munyon. Our Mooney man, Rendell Munyon. This for, I, we gotta, I gotta, <laughs> oh, we gotta God. get Cat to give me a brand new refresh on this one. I know, yeah, it's so funny. So we got <laughs> Mooney man, Munyon. We know. do it every time. I know. Every time. Sorry, you know who you are. But, we got Reg. the eyeball energy. We got the, the Skitty, the Electabuzz, the Bramblin, the Giraffe Rig, the Palafin, the Eerie, the Colossal, the Duosion will not score, the Shiftery will not score, and the Roaring, Roaring Moon to cap just off. One point. So we Sad mispronounced news. your name and only gave you one point, so Sorry thank you. There. Thank you for sticking Thanks with for us. Thanks for sticking with us. <laughs> they've, been, they've been with us on season two, so they're a long time player. They're, the they're like, guys, it's been it's been years. I know. They're like, they're staring at the screen today and they're like, who is Steven N? <laughs> you kidding me, bro? I've been around for so long. One oh, back. Man. All right, next up we have Maddie. Man, just a, just a fun shout out back to season three. Maddie threw down a zero. A zero. Which a was, zero. Which we, was possible because of the V-Star markers. We used that, yeah, there used to be an inclusion of a card. If you got a V-Star marker, it was minus one point. Yeah, that was, uh, it was tough to do. 
Skitty, Electabuzz, Bramlin, Drafrig, Lycanroc, Salvatore, Palafin, Roly Coley, Reuniclus, and just the Iron Thorns is gonna score for you. It's just a one point. Boy, that's two people in a row who came, came in with two points and walk away with just a third point. Oof. It's like, oh, that it's, hurts. It's, it's not what you wanna see. I no. feel like. I feel like what I'm learning is that if you were to go to your local card store and they've got a booster box available and you're going to buy a pack out of it, I would ask for one from the middle. From the middle, you think? I would, yeah. I would say middle, no, not the back. <laughs> well, our, that Gouging Fire was like our, what, third player or something? That's true, that's yeah. true. So maybe third from the front as well. There you go. You know what, just choose it, Randy. It doesn't, it doesn't make a <laughs> yeah, difference. It makes no difference. Yeah. We've pulled them from all over the place. Next up, we've got Sebastian. Okay, with uh, 12 points coming into the day. 12 points, not too bad, not too not bad. Not too bad, and it's been a minute since we've had some, some serious points at least a few packs here since yeah. uh, Howard Cal's 18 point pack right so let's see and we get something big let's see yeah it's got the dark, dark teardrop, drop the big teeny we'll score the bronze war the mud bray the ghastly the iron hands the rescue board the sandy shocks the rosalia will not score the crocodile will not score and the macargo will be two for so three three points up to 15. 15 that's all right it's all that's right you're gonna need something big though next next go round. that's right that's right here we go better than three points though it's, it's been such a competitive what. season it really has oh man Ben here we go this is a real last place contender here we've got Bobby with Bobby's two been lives. listening to us talk and, he, and Bobby's like wow you guys like, keep talking about has, 10 cents last yeah. place award I have two, I have two cents. cents right now two cents I can get I can even get a little better than the Mel Metal and have some cents to spare some sense so to let's spare. see they must have just pulled the Mel Metal they, that, they, last that, time. that is the only possible way yeah so that Bobby see. can be doing what they're doing right and now and they go back so. to back they they're, want they want nothing they're looking back. for as little to nothing as humanly possible good start that's what they wanted to see off the top the Yambra, oh, that's not what they that's wanted. Oh, not no. what you want. oh no. Oh man. It's looking bad already. The Reuniclus, they had so much to look forward to. Oh, the you got Scyther? the Scyther and the Macargo. Oh, so wow. Four points. Four points instead. Well, Brooke breathes another sigh of relief. You see it over and over again. It's unbelievable. And again, a reminder, Brooke has also been a, a season champion before. I so know. to also be leading the charge in last. Uh. Unbelievable. Truly. It's going to be such a painstaking third pack for Brooke to open to see what I happens. I know, like, can she bring it home? We're going to find out. Everyone's rooting for you. Next up is Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. With six points. Okay. Lives in Australia, bought her first Pokemon pack last year for her 42nd birthday. Well, how about that? Happy Goodness birthday. Me. It's got to be further than that now because he's been with us in season four. So. Yeah, so you know, happy couple birthdays. Happy couple birthdays. All right, so we got the Rockus Pummeling Energy, the Roselia, the Cutie Fly, the Drill Bird, the Relor, the Box Door, the Screamtail, Sableye, the Rabombi, the Mudsdale, and the, the Maridon. Oh. Just one point. There you go. For Wilhelmina, who's possibly celebrating their 44th. Yep, 44th birthday there. Here we go. Next up, Ben, it is Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop has seven points on the day. Is this is Shadow Loop who the one? No. No, yeah, they can do better. They can do better. You know, they've got seven points right now. You can do better. You can do better. You can do better. Maybe this will do it. And and for those of those at home who think we're being a little you know, like tough on Shadow Loop, they understand. They get it. We're all on the same page. We just see their potential, you know? Right. We just want to see them apply themselves. Here we go. Grass energy. Okay. All right. Rosalia, Cutie Fly, Drill Bore. Drill Burr, Relore, Screamtail, Heavy Baton, Iron Pound, the Sizzlepeed will score, the Mighty Animal not, and the Maridon is right there. That's two points. Ah, uh, yeah, Shadow Loop, you know. I think you can do better. I think you you, do better. you had improved. You've gone from two to three to seven. You're back to two. Back to two. All right. This is not what we had talked about. Can't let it go to your head. That's okay though. That's okay. You just gotta keep working. Guys, put in the hours. Bring it in for the last pack magic. Last pack magic, or will it be last pack tragic? We've seen it both ways. We've seen it both ways. They've got two points coming in for Dieter56, our last pack of the day. What are we gonna see? Let's find out. We got the... Is there one more big card in this box? Teardrop Energy, the Finizen, the Dunsparce, the Snom, the Pikachu, the Hand Trimmer, the Rabska, the Fretress, the Yamper will not score, the C-Dot will not score, and the and Raging, Raging Bolt! Bolt. That could be, could be something. I mean, it's could not... At least it's a full art card. At least it's a full art. 123 on the set. $1.78. Two, two points. Two points again for Dieter, Boom. 56. Brings them all to four go. on the season. Man, what an exciting box. Dieter was a former rookie 
of the day back in season eight. Well, the the story of the day has to be Stephen N taking yeah. home rookie of the day and the top podium spot at the moment. And bringing Electric to the top of the podium as well. Goodness gracious. Yeah, we, we were starting, we were like, it's so cool that fire and water are just one point apart. And now it's like, well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, now they're down to Electric. So it's going to be oh fascinating to see the rest of this unfold mm. as it does. But mm. um, yeah, quite the competition indeed. Uh, big shout out to our rookies of the day. Big shout out to Mark Mark for the very generous donation yes. to the Make J Grow Mustache in the month of May. Again, links in the description down below if you'd like to go and check that out. Or if you'd like to become a patron and see us open a pack for you here on Box Breakers, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting the Box Breakers tier. But otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! <laughs>